I came to the conclusion that uh, I should do something more, uh, leave behind a legacy, not just uh, die unknown, you know. And uh, so I decided that I should start a trust. The trust is set up basically to empower women. You see, I have a rich and powerful father, Indian father, and I've never been afraid of God or government or the ghosts. The three G's that are invented by men to number one, put women down. I also read a book called The Shambhala Warrior. And if you read the book, the philosophy of this whole kingdom was of one of sheer goodness, bravery uh, and enlightenment. So at 60, I was convinced that that's the next step to do. I wanted to launch it at 60, but I thought I was a little bit too young at that time to do it. Uh, and Bollywood still needed a lot of my energy. But now, the timing is perfect. So about two years ago, I registered it. And today, on my 66th birthday, I intend to launch it. Uh, Elizabeth, uh, my check is for the next four years of the trust. It's 100,000 a year for the next, uh, so there's 400,000 uh, start up for the next, for, until I'm 70, I thought, how much should I put first? Huh? So I'm 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Then at 70, uh, we'll, I'll make the next move. Unless I kick the bucket, and then my whole estate will go in there. But this morning, I received a fantastic gift. It's the first donation to the Gentle Warriors Trust. And it came from none other than my young scribe warrior, Mender Fu. Mender, I'm sure you'll carry my legacy and our work together. Thank you very much. Huh? I've known Ivy 20 years and at every turn she's picking up down and outs and she's even helped me personally pull myself out of a certain kind of loss, right? So this trust fund, I think it's really helping those who are, have nowhere else to turn. Because despite being privileged uh, and fortunate all her life, uh, she has helped people, especially women, her entire life. So she's got nothing to clear and she's got nothing to uh, appease. Uh, uh, so no, it's not a fanciful uh, event or uh, initi initiative to appease her conscience. I think that it is really um, uh, a genuine and a very uh, heartfelt effort for her, uh, for her to to spread her spirit of generosity, of warriorship, of social justice and um, of, of um, independence uh, uh, beyond her lifetime. She and knows everybody's needs. Even if you are rude to her, she will find out the reason why is this person rude to me? Have I done something wrong? And she is very forgiving. And that is why she, with all her love for everyone and her able to accept anyone into her life, make her the one and only lady who is on the way to achieve what she wants to do now. She knows what she wants and she goes ahead and does it uh, with integrity, that's the most important, with integrity, and she doesn't give up her cause. When she finds a good cause, she goes all the way. And that's the tenacity in her. Um, it's it's really excellent idea for Ivy to set up a fund like this at this point of time. The government has many agencies for funding a lot of things, but the bureaucracy in having to apply for all these funds is, is truly very difficult. So for a person like Ivy who starts a fund like this, I'm sure he, there will be procedures, but it will be of a less bureaucratic type and it will definitely benefit much more uh, the ordinary uh, people who are in trouble. It's not about me, it's about my philosophy. As you know, I'm called the gentle warrior. It started because I call myself the gentle woman farmer and my husband is the gentle man farmer. But my friend said to me, you gentle woman, like, hello, give me a break, you know? <laughs> so she said, why don't you go back to your roots because my father, was from India and he's a Rajput. We are from the warrior caste. So I said, okay, I'll call, call myself the warrior. I said, that sounds too fierce, you know. 
And she said, no, why don't you call yourself the gentle warrior and, and fool your enemies a little bit?